Hi, and welcome back to Carrie Creates Cards. It's been a week or so since I've done anything, as you know, because I've been on holidays. But I'm really looking forward to making something today. And I really hope you enjoy watching. If this is the first time you've tuned in, you're very welcome. And if you enjoy watching, please like and subscribe. Hi, for today's card, I'm going to be using a 5x7 card base. And I'm going to be using this piece of white cardstock that I will cut down a bit smaller. At the moment, it's the same size. I'll cut it down smaller than that. I'm going to be using these lovely Lavinia stamps. I've got this Zamira and Divine Flourish. And I might also use um, the thistle branch I'll see but I'm going to be using my brush -o. um there if you haven't used brush -o powders before they're beautiful pigment powders that when you mix with water they turn into like a watercolor really but they're fabulous the colors are very vibrant and uh, the pigment is fantastic in them so I'm going to be using black purple and scarlet in that so the way i'm going to use the brushes is i'm placing some of the powders down here on my glass mat and the reason i've all this tape on my hands is one of my followers um advise that i do that because my hands always end up getting destroyed and i've had my nails done recently, I want to keep them for another while, so I'm going adding some water to that. And then I'm coming in with my cardstock and I'm going to pick up that ink. And I'm going to leave that dry. So I found that I couldn't really work with them. Maybe I did it incorrectly. Maybe I was meant to do each finger individually. So I just, I'll give the gloves a go. I'll be honest, I'm not great for working with gloves or anything like that. Um, I'm the same in the garden. I just like to muck in. But basically I've left that dry, not completely, but I'm just going to come back in and pick up another bit here and there just to get the effect that I want. And it'll move about a bit. So just want to wipe this down. I decided I'll come in with my heat tool and go over that. Now I could have used that ink on another background if I'd wanted as well. But I've decided just to do the one. Now next I'm going to pop another colour down there, so I'm coming in with the purple. And as you can see you don't need very much of these powders in order to get a lovely deep colour. So I'm just going to come in and pick that up where I want it as well. And there's nothing exact about this. Can be quite messy but lots of fun which is I guess what art should be shouldn't it if it's not fun then what's the point so I love all this just mucking in and coming up with a unique background because every single one that you will make will be totally different than the last therefore each one is unique which is the nice thing about it. So 
So next I'm going to repeat that again with the with the black. Oh, sorry, I have a bit of tape over that. So there we go. Only need a little bit really. You can see the different colours coming out there. There's a blue and everything in that. Should be lovely. And I just want to go around the edges with that black. Just pick it up. Yep, quite happy there now. Just come back in with my gun. And I love the black. I think it's a colour that gets very overlooked. But I think it's really nice. I'm just going to come in my, back in my water there and play around with my background. So I'm coming back in with a bit of scarlet. And I'm going to drop a few bits here and there. I love the effect that this gives. Maybe just a bit more there and there. And you just see the lovely reaction that you get. So I'm going to leave that sit for a minute now. And I'm coming in with this just with a kitchen towel. And I'm going to pick up the surplus wet. Yeah, I'm liking that effect. So I just want to make sure that it's completely dry. So I'm just going to come in now with the clean paper towel and I just want to rub off any excess crystals that may be on the surface that so they all feel actually okay because they'll interfere with the with the stamping if they're too textured but I think that that's fine so next I'm coming in with my stamping platform just try and straighten that out a bit because the water has created some warping and I'm going to pop that into the corner. You know, so next what I want to do is come in with some Myra. her down there now where I want to have her think about there is good and I'm going to come in with um, my verse fine clear in nocturne which is that deep black cover color sorry and in curl looking for my little tool to help me press it down and a few of you have asked me about this tool in the past um basically it's just a little tool that my husband made for me it's just a knob there's some felt on the end of it he put a piece of wood onto the end of the knob I had seen some of the other bigger crafters like um Kathy Zelsky and oh a few of the others 
use them. I don't know if you can purchase them. It's very possible that you may be able to, but he said it was quite easy to make. I have arthritis in my wrist, so it just helps me. And that's quite good, but I might just come in once more. Anything that makes life easier, as they say. The gloves actually aren't too bad. As I said, it'll help me get a bit longer out of my nails. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm very pleased with that. So I'm just going to put a bit of water on her there now and give her a good wipe off. I like to clean my stamps every time I use them. Whether it makes a difference or not, I don't really know, but to me it does. I just like to keep them clean. So there we go. So the next thing I'm going to do now is come in with my Vine Flourish. So I'll remove that. possibly about there and I want a dark green for that one yeah I'll use the Versafine Claire in the rainforest and I need to replace my lid here on my nocturne very important to replace your lids these inks will last for a long 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 time if you keep the lid replaced each time you use it some of my ink, some of my ink pads I've had for years, if I'm honest. And if you're careful, you will get good value. They, I mean, they seem the all the art supplies seem expensive when you first purchase them. But if you're if something is going to last you over and over, really it pays for itself, doesn't it? They last for so long. Really, they're good value when you look at it that way. The only one really I think I've had to replace is the Nocturne because I've just had it for so long. You know, you use it all the time. It's, I guess, the one that you use mostly. The other ones, you might have to print. Well, that's the good thing about the plant platform. You can um, print it over and over if you don't get a great image for go. I just want to pop that one down around there now. Next thing I'm going to do, well, I give that a quick wipe and I'm going to move this out. I'm just going to make sure that that's dried properly. don't even really need to be stamping them twice it seems to come out fine the first go but just me being me I guess and I'd like to pop another one down here
Yeah, I think I might like to just, maybe I won't, might spoil it. Sometimes you can go overboard and ruin, ruin your project, but yeah. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to come in with the thistle branch and just put a couple of, I won't go overboard with it. Just put a few bits here and there. So colour wise with that, I think, I think I might just go for the nocturne because I don't think it will be seen otherwise. I said I'm not going to go overboard with that. Let's see. I'm kind of liking it there. Do I want to put it on the other side or not? I guess one would be silly, wouldn't it? So let's see. These stamps are hard to get off when you're wearing the gloves. Um, I guess I could go there to begin with. Let's see. It's one of those things you have to play around to kind of see how it will end up. Which is what creates the magic in the end. Maybe just about there. that but I'm thinking I might like to just come in with what's maybe on there and just pop a bit down higher up I don't want it to go down the whole way so that's why I'm doing it this way yeah and maybe just another now it's not something really I recommend doing by hand because it can cause problems but I'm just being careful. I want a little bit down there and that's it. I'm just going to come in now with this little piece of cardstock that I ripped. Just want to pop a little bit under her, um, her feet there. So that she's not half of her looks like it's floating and and not filling in the whole thing. But I just want to pop a little bit of darkness down. So I'm just using the black there again from the Versafine Claire. And yeah, I think that that's fine. So I just want to come in and trim. A little bit off of the edges so it doesn't have to be very much and possibly the one side will do so just take a piece off there and maybe a piece off the bottom to see 
Yeah, may need to take another little piece off the side. So just turn it upside down and just trim a tiny piece off of that side. Did anything come off there at all? Oh, it did. Yeah, I didn't do it properly, I guess. I'll go over that with the scissors. That should have evened out a bit, I think. Yep, yeah, that'll be fine. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to zoom you in a bit for this. So I'm just coming in with my white pen. It's a pigment ink pen. And maybe these were a bad idea as well. I'm just going to pick out the little pieces along her dress just to make them pop a bit. I have another pen there, I think might be better. I'm yeah, hoping that this one is a bit better. It's a newer one. And it is. Just going over them again. I think I need to get rid of that older pen. Just a little piece across here. And then I also have little ribs of hair there that I'm not going to do them all, but just little bits. Just adds a little bit of dimension and I like the look that it gives, especially on the darker background. Just takes a couple of minutes, but I think it's worth it, you know. It's the little things that kind of make the difference in the end and make it all finishes it off nicely. I think a narrower pen would probably be better for this, but that, that's fine. Still looks nice, I think. So I'm just going to come in now and outline those little bits as well on the leaves, little veins. Just adds a little something. I've really enjoyed today's crafting. I haven't, um, I have made some cards, wedding cards and communion cards, all right, but I haven't um, recorded them. But I kind of haven't had to play around with the mixed media stuff for a few weeks now and just really enjoyed today. Hope you've also enjoyed watching. And I hope it inspires you to get out your supplies and have a go. Yep, quite happy there. The next thing I'm going to do there, I've just been leaving this dry a bit. So I haven't used my perfect pearls in a while. I'm just going to pop, oh, that's way too much. Let's see if I can put some of that back in to the container. I really only needed a tiny sprinkle, but anyway, 
what I'm going to do with that is let's come in with my water just mix it around like I said way too much I mean I could do a load of projects with that amount but I'm going to come in and I'm going to just splatter it here and there another little bit up around the top there that's mostly where I want it and there we go so I'm going to have to leave that dry now again so next thing I'm doing is I'm coming in with my double sided tape and because there's a bit of warping going on there I'm using the white tape and I'm going to cover the back of it. So I'll just do that and I'll pop it onto my card base. I think that that might be okay. I'll just take the back off. Let's pop you out a bit again there. And pop that down. And there you go. That's been great fun. And I'm really enjoying how it looks. So that's my finished card. And I think you'll agree. It was lots of fun and a bit mystical which is what I wanted and I'm loving the colours that are going on there. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and if you have please like and subscribe. Thank you.